Hey, BookTube. God, it took me like five minutes to figure that shit out right there, just to get this on. Okay, so after, you know, like a million or just like two or three requests to do a bookshelf tour, um, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. And when the shelves come into Zoe territory, we'll have her come in and do it. But um, this is the first shelf in the Ikea tall bookcase. Okay, so let's see here. Well, first off, we got this guy. Zoe made this. So we'll take him off. And then we have this stick. Good Jesus. Yeah, this, um, Zoe got that from one of her friends for her birthday or some shit. <clears throat> I don't know why it's there. So, um, these are pretty much mine, and I think some of them you've seen before. So, um, first off, we got the um, Bud and Lou, the Abbott and Costello story by Bob Thomas. Um, very thorough, and it has the Who's On First skit on the back. So, if you like Abbott and Costello, that's a good one for you. Um... Then I have this, uh, The Extraordinary Life of Alan Moore, um, kind of a weird cover, nice black papers, um, I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar, so that's kind of neat, um, this book, um, How to Write a Movie in 21 Days Using the Inner Movie Method, how to Get the Movie in Your Heart Onto the Page by Vicky King. Complete shit. I don't even know why I still have it. Um, let's see what else. The Secret Diary of Laura Palmer. A very good read. Kind of um, heartbreaking and um, troubling read. I would say, but this is a must for any Twin Peaks fan. I think they've put it out. This is from when the show was on originally. Um, they've done this since and put it out in a nice little copy. And I believe this was written by David Lynch's daughter based off of the scripts. Uh, let's see what we got here. Pink Flamingos and Other Filth. So these are the screenplays for Pink Flamingos and Desperate Living, but it also has the screenplay for Flamingos Forever, which was the um, never shot um, sequel to Pink Flamingos. And I got this on eBay for like a couple bucks. And it also happened to be signed by John Waters. So... Um, they didn't know that, and I didn't tell them. So that was nice. Uh, what do we got here? Um, the Amazing Colossal Book of Horror Trivia. This is a really good, fun read when you're hanging out with people um, or in a car. Lots of trivia from all different genres. Um, this is the Pocket Essentials Roger Corman. If you don't know anything about Roger Corman, this is a good book. If you know anything about Roger Corman, a lot of this is refresher. Um, in fact, I'll go straight to this one then. Um, Roger Corman and an, an unauthorized life. This is cool. It has a lot of, um, behind the scenes stuff, talking with other people. Um, I kind of wanted more like behind the scenes of how things were made more than um, just people sharing their tales. Oh, let's see. This is basically a film shelf, it looks like. Um, the Very Breast of Russ Meyer. So for those of you who know who Russ Meyer is, he um, did a lot of uh, movies with... 
a certain type of female that looks, oh wait, hang on. This is the worst video ever. How does Steve do these? Um, yeah, like he had a type basically. Um, and this is okay. This is basically interviews that he did um, with pictures. Um, again, I wanted more. Here is a book on animation from script to screen by Seamus Cal Coolhane. Coolhane Luke. Um, I borrowed this from somebody. <clears throat> And then moved. So I feel really bad about that. What are you going to do? Um, then I have the hardcover Nightmare Before Christmas. The original. Um, before the movie came out. Um, it has a CD in it too. It's kind of neat. It's like a big picture book. Um, can I show you anything? While we are looking. Yeah, so... So that's kind of how the book's set up. So that's cool for you Tim Burton fans. Then my original copy of Where the Wild Things Are from back, back in the day. Ooh, it's a book club edition. I didn't know that. Hmm. The things you don't know about your books. Um, the complete book of script writing. Didn't like it. Um, wasn't interested. <sighs> the Amazing Colossal Worlds of Mr. Big. Hang on, guys. I gotta push the low power button. Um, this is Bert I. Gordon, Big. Um, he was a director back in the 50s, um, and I met him at one of the horror cons. And he, um... Sign this book for me. Let me see if I could get her, get her open. Ah, come on, fingers. Okay. All the best, creep. Bert I. Gordon. Yeah, I used to go by creep. Um, and then a book that is super cool, but again, could have been better. Um, Dark Shadows Memories by Catherine Lee Scott, who was in it. Um, this is okay, but I like history. Like, I... People's... Um, Rose-tinted lenses doesn't really do it for me. I, like, want to know, like... episode notes for every single episode kind of thing. But it was still good. Um, screenplay by Sid Field. This is probably the book that every screenwriter reads. Um, better than most. Uh, I don't know. I just say write a script. You've seen a movie before. You've seen many movies before. I'm sure you have been able to feel minutes go by and how things rise and fall. Um, so you should be able to figure it out. The Horror People, including Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi, Alon Chaney, Vincent Price, Chaney Jr., Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, James Will, Val Luton, Robert Block, Terrence Fisher, William Castle, Richard Matheson, Roger Corman. Holy shit! Really cool. And then there's a nice little Michael Landon picture in the back. That picture of her is, like, timeless. Like, that's definitely one of those. So anyway, um, that is... This shelf, um, not really a whole lot of stuff because these are tiny shelves, but we'll make our way through it. So, um, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Um, ring the bell for notifications so you actually know when I'm sending you a video. Um, let me know what you think down below if you've read any of these. And if you think I was a little too hard on some of them and not hard enough. So, until next time, everybody.